concept that we are going to learn uh, is how to backtrack the logic of a particular port or how to backtrack the logic of your target data. Okay. Now, do you know which kind of data will come to this target if I'm giving this new ma mapping to you? Now you're joining in one project and now they gave this mapping. They are asking you to identify why the data is not coming into this particular target. Now you don't know anything about okay. this, right? You don't know any logic about this particular mapping, right? Now, how will you identify yeah. what is the logic that they are following in order to load the data into this target. So for that, what do you have to do? Okay, right click. Deep. Not debug. It is not about debugging. You are backtracking it. Backtracking is you're trying to identify what is the logic of that particular port. Okay, what is the logic of that particular port? So here, now arrange all here. Okay, what do you have to do? They are asking you to check why data is not coming into your HR table or HR file, all right? Take this, okay? Take this and now minimize the other one. Now, what do you want? For example, you want to see from where you are getting this email address. Right click, select link path backward. So you are getting this red color marking, right? So it will show from where you are getting this data, from where you are getting this data. Okay, for which column we are checking here, email address. And it is coming from router. See here, it is coming from router. From where, from which group it is coming also, you can see here. Okay, from which group it is coming? HR. Yes, so if you see here, red color is pointing to HR. And to here, from where it is coming? Because we pulled into it router, okay? We pulled this column into router. So again, from where it is coming? Email address, it is coming from source. So from source, you are getting the data from email address and it is coming from HR group. So if you go and check the HR group, okay? You can see, okay, department name equal to HR. This is the data you will get into this particular target, okay? This is how you can debug it. And you can, if you click outside, this red color will go away, okay? You got it now yeah. how to backtrack uh, any particular column logic? Yeah. Now let's go to expression and then see once. Okay, in expression we have full name logic is there, right? We have full name logic is there. Now let's see, I want to understand, I want to understand how this full name is getting calculated. So what I can do? I want to know the logic of full name. You need to backtrack. Right click, select link path backward. So if you see here, it is, it is marking all the columns which are dependent on this particular field. For full name, on which columns we are dependent? First name, last, last name, and then middle name. Okay. We are using first name, last name, and middle name. So that's the reason. What it is doing? What it is doing? This full name is coming from this full name field. But this full name is dependent on all these three columns from source. Now you got it, how it is dependent, uh, how it is giving the details for you. Yeah. Okay. This is backtracking it. Again, if you want to look for forward, okay. For example, this last name is there. Sometimes what will happen is you, by mistakenly, you will link this last name to some middle name, for example. Okay. By mistakenly, you will link this last name to middle name. So middle name, you what you will get in the middle name? You will get last name values. That is wrong. So at that time, how you can check again, you can come here and you can backtrack it or you can come go here. You can select link path. You can go for forward, backward or both the ways. As the target is the last step, you are getting only backward, okay? But if you want to verify the logic at any middle step, you will get both forward, backward, or both. Both means what it will do? It will give the linkage. It will give the linkage forward and backward. Okay, forward and backward. How the data is going? This last name is going into last name, and also it is getting used in the full name. Okay, clear? Yeah. I have choose both the ways. Now for this last name, what I will do? I will just choose backward. Forward. 
let's go with backward so backward from where we are getting it is marking only backward column backward uh, uh, linkage no forward linkage okay now let me just go with forward so what it will do it will just show how it is getting propagated to the next level okay now if i do both what it will do it will give how it is going forward how it is going backward clear yeah a simple right so this is like how you will analyze the data in your project whenever any issue is happening you want to know because you don't know what is the logic inside the mapping right you'll just go ahead and then check in the mapping by using these options okay clear now if you go to parameters and variables okay parameters and variables arrange all of them okay arrange all of them now i want to see how the total salary is coming i i don't know the logic of total salary how to check it backward backtrack yeah how can i do right the backtracking right click on it select link path back backward now see here so total salary is coming from where your total salary field and it is using and once it comes here you can check the logic okay this is the combination of salary plus bonus okay and the salary is coming from this one clear yeah. got it yeah so this is how you can backtrack it or if you want to see where the salary is getting used you can use salary forward so it is getting used where it is getting used it is getting used in total salary and it is getting used in min salary it is getting used in max salary this is how you can identify clear yeah it is making it very simple right by making it uh, red color so that you can identify how the data is coming how it is getting changed what are the different things we are doing with it, with this particular variable and where we are loading all of these things you can check clear any any doubts in today's session with uh, uh, debugging of the session and your uh, back tracking of the data <laughs>